Hi, I'm Sarah Simmons, the executive chef at Birds and Bubbles, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect fried chicken. First, we start with a three to four pound bird, a combination of spices, starting with two tablespoons of salt, two and a half teaspoons of ground black pepper, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and a teaspoon of cayenne. We mix that together and we sprinkle it over the bird. Put it in a shallow pan, covered and chilled in the refrigerator for one to two days. We take that bird out of the refrigerator and bring it to room temperature for about 30 minutes to one hour. We put a cast iron skillet on the stove over medium high heat with about three quarters of an inch of oil. We start by making the buttermilk dip. We take one pint of buttermilk to two eggs and we whisk that together. Typically, that's sufficient for one bird. We also make a flour dredge, which is three cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of cracked black pepper, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. We sift that together into a shallow pan and then we get ready to fry. Once the temperature of the oil reaches about 360 degrees, then we start the dredge and dip process. First, we take a piece of chicken and we dip it into the buttermilk and then we shake out the excess so it's not soaked and then we place it into the bed of flour. And now it's ready to go into the hot oil. So we place the chicken very carefully into the hot oil, making sure to place it away from us. So if any oil splatters, it doesn't splatter onto us. And then we, one by one, fry the pieces two to three minutes on each side until it gets that golden brown crust. Once we've got that golden brown crust that we're looking for, we transfer the chicken from the pan to a baking sheet lined with a resting rack to make sure that all of the excess oil drips off. And we place it into a 350 degree oven for four to six minutes until cooked through. Once it's cooked through, we remove it from the oven. And then at Birds and Bubbles, we like to serve our chicken in a chicken wire basket alongside a glass of our favorite champagne.